Hi there! If you're a beginner at Gutenberg and want to know more about this editor, then tune in. Because in this video, we will talk about 5 helpful life hacks in Gutenberg blog editor that you definitely should know. So, let's start! Insert blocks with a slash comment. One of the most useful tools in Gutenberg has to be the slash comment. Using the slash comment is going to trigger the block inserter and its search, so you won't have to interrupt your flow of writing. All you have to do is begin a new line with a slash, and you will get a drop down menu that helps you set up the new block in a matter of seconds. Adding links by pasting. Pasting links is another awesome feature that you get with Gutenberg. You can just copy paste the desired link in the editor, and Gutenberg will automatically make a new blog from it. The blog editor will also detect your URL and convert the link into viewable content. This feature will save you some time and help you with getting everything done faster. Use drag and drop to rearrange the blocks. If you need to move a block of content from one place to another, this is where the drag and drop feature will be handy. It's one of the easiest ways to move the content around and can save you a lot of time while writing your content. To get the drag and drop option activated, you can either choose one of the two arrows to move the block up or down, or grab the dots and move the block wherever you wish this new position to be. Button blocks. The button block is needed for creating a button within your post and link to a URL. Here is how you can create a button block in Gutenberg. Go to the add block icon and click on it. Use the search bar and input button in it to find your button block. The button edit window will appear and here you can select how your button will align with the content, enter the display text, uh, input the URL you want the button to direct to and style the text. Group multiple blocks together to create the unique layout. You can easily group multiple blocks in Gutenberg and create unique layouts. For instance, you can add a paragraph block, a heading block and an image block together to create a beautiful visual content. All you have to do is hold down the shift key and select the blocks you want to group. Then click on the three dots icon while the blocks are selected and click to the group button. And that's it for today. Hopefully this video will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching.